Hey, what's going on guys? Mike here from Mike's Horror Corner, and today I'm going to be doing my first mask review of my officially licensed Victor Crowley mask. So um, uh, let's get into it. So before I get into this review, I just want to thank everybody that subscribed to me. Um, uh, I've only had this channel for about two weeks, and uh, I'm already up to 32 subscribers. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot to uh, many people, but... It means the world to me considering that I didn't think I'd get any subscribers when I first started this channel. So I'm uh, thank you guys so much for that. Also, I want to give a quick shout out to, uh, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, man. But his name is Andrew Bellina. And he commented on my other Victor Crowley mask uh, video. And he said, seen this mask around a few times online, but never in a video. It looks awesome. We do any vids, uh when you're talking <laughs> and like I said I didn't think I get any subscribers or any comments so I'm uh here you go Andrew uh, this one's for you man so let's get into this mask I'm uh, the first thing that I noticed when I first unboxed this is the paint job is absolutely incredible I mean I think I paid about $58 for this I bought it on Amazon and uh, you really can't beat that price for this type of mask and I know it's a mess produce mask but I'm um, uh, like I said the quality is amazing next let's get into this hatchet gash it has this sort of glossy paint finish to it which makes it look really realistic and it looks awesome I'm hoping the camera is picking up somewhat I'll try to get a close-up of it it also has that same finish on the mouth And also the same sort of finish on the eyes, which looks super realistic. And if you could notice, this is where you would see out of if you want to wear the mask. If you do wear the mask, I would recommend, you know, cutting this area out a little bit. Because it is super hard to see out of when you're wearing it. But this is more of a display piece, just to give you guys a heads up. So let's get into the back of the mask. Um, uh, there's a decent sized slit so you can fit your head in if you want to wear it. Which um, uh, also brings me to the hair, which is probably my biggest con about the mask. I mean, as you see, it's not the greatest hair job. It definitely gets a job done, though. But if you own a Trick or Treat Studios mask, um, uh, the first thing that you'll notice is the hair usually isn't the greatest. But I'm going to definitely keep that in mind if you're looking to purchase this. Try to get it, some more shots of it. And here's the officially licensed Trick or Treat Studios uh, tag. Try to get a close up for that. The inside. And it's care instructions on how to take care of your mask. movie poster officially licensed collection and then that I got a quick shot of the ears for you guys um, uh, it's a little bit darker of a finish as you can see but it looks really cool trying to get a close-up of that and get the other side of it give me a second same type of finish a little bit darker as you can see, there's a little um, uh, hearing hole that's right over here, that's on both sides. So here's um, uh, my final thoughts and ratings on this mask. If I had to give this mask a 1 out of 5, I would honestly give a 5, guys. Um, Trick or Treat Studios did a great job on this. The detail is amazing. And um, uh, like I said, I picked this up for about $58 on Amazon. And you really can't beat the price. If you're a fan of the Hatchet series, I definitely recommend picking this mask up. So there you go, guys. I'm, uh, that's my first mask review. Um, uh, if you think I should change anything or you want to know more about this mask or any tips on how to make any of these videos better, I would truly appreciate it. 
Um, uh, like I said, that's my first mask review, so sorry if it's not the greatest. But um, uh, thank you guys so much for subscribing, and uh, see you guys in the next video.